We are on our way to pick up groceries. This is the second time using the new trailer. And the grocery store is about a little over two miles away. So the first time was a little shaky with the new trailer. So I figured this would be a good chance to go over the things that I learned from the first ride. So we got the new trailer all hooked up and this is actually the second time using this new trailer to haul groceries. So let's go over some of the lessons we learned from the first ride. First thing, don't get overconfident. I was really excited. I got this new 40 gallon tote bin, bigger trailer. So I got really excited and I overordered. I had about $200 worth of groceries and it was a little bit too much. There was a package of toilet paper and a package of paper towels. And I didn't bring a cargo net or anything so it like just barely fit inside the tote. I had to kind of squish everything down. So it's very important to understand your cargo limits and order light the first few, tra first few times with the new trailer until you get the hang of it and you know what kind of capacity you're working with. We gotta get into traffic here, so give me a minute. All right, so this little strip coming up is about, I don't know, a quarter mile. Uh, it's pretty fast, Wells Branch Parkway, and then I have to go under the highway, so I may not want to talk through it. I'm on my slower 1,000 watt bike today. But anyway, so some of the things that I learned from the first grocery pickup was definitely that the lid on my tote bin was not as good as it had appeared and since I fully packed it out it just wouldn't the latches wouldn't stay on I mean the latches the lid is really good but the lid latches once the lid was popping off a little bit the latches wouldn't stay in place and so I didn't bring enough gear I should have brought extra gear uh, you know I didn't have any I didn't have any gear ties or any bungee cords or anything so I definitely should have done that which which would have made it much simpler to, to close the lid so what wound up happening was I had to use, I had like a hair tie connected to my shorts. So the cargo load was almost perfect, but then the lid wouldn't stay down perfectly, which was making the, the 
lid clips pop off. And it does have these little slots that you can, um, you can put in a gear tie. So that's what, I, what I'm doing this time is I brought gear ties, which is basically you could just use a, um, you know, the bread twists, just a little metal, uh, metal twist. Sure. How you doing, my so this is the worst part. Um, I've tried using the sidewalk. With my faster bike, it's not so bad, but I wanted to try it with this bike today. But using the sidewalk is terrible because obviously those sidewalks are not designed for bikes. They got there's not enough room, especially with a trailer. It's really tight, so I could barely squeeze the trailer through there. Um, and then these sidewalks are really poorly designed to where these, there's cars coming at every angles. They're not looking on the sidewalks. So just trying to cross the sidewalks is a pain. So the best thing I've, I've found to do is to just take the lane, go as fast as I can, and try to stay out of the way. And you know, pe some people get angry and they pass. And that's just what we have to deal with right now. But it's a short strip. I think if the whole ride was like this, I, I would consider other options, get a faster e-bike. But for this short strip, I'll just deal with the aggressive drivers for a few minutes and uh, make sure I check my mirrors to make sure that I don't get hit from behind. Otherwise, it's not a bad ride. It's only about 2.2 miles each way. So on my other bike, 1500 watts could keep up with everybody that's taken off the line. But with this one, not so much. But I'm still doing about 25. So, you know, if a car or two has to wait to get to the next light. I mean, that's always the funny thing with traffic like this is like, we're just waiting, like everyone's in a rush to get to the next light, you know? people will rip past me, make a dangerous decision, and then I wind up just coming right up next to them at the light anyway. So, it's really pointless to be aggressive. And now we have the nice shoulder right here, and we're here. Good, how are you? Good, all right, thank you. What's the name of the order? Another lesson that I learned from last time is to make sure that the weight is equally distributed over the axle. So I moved this bin forward a little bit. It was a few inches toward the rear last time, which was causing the weight to uh, push upward on the hitch which would then kind of take the wheel off the ground a little bit so it, it, it was handling poorly and it just doesn't feel as balanced the weight doesn't um, distribute as equally over the axle on the trailer so it feels heavier so what i did is i just moved it back a few inches it looks uneven right now because i have the bike propped up on a center stand and this wheel is bigger this is a 700 c wheel so it does tilt slightly back it's best to try to have it as even as possible it's a little more even on the uh, on my other bike which is 24 inch wheels oh yeah plenty of space this time yep i over ordered last time it was uh, kind of packed out like the lid was barely staying on oh really it's a little dicey yeah righty you have a good excellent one. thank you very much Should have, last time I didn't get any eggs, but I should have brought something a little bit better to support the eggs. The 
but that's all right. I think they should be fine inside of here. No one for them to go. So this time I probably don't even really need these gear ties, but I'll use them anyway while I got them. So the lid does latch nicely on there when it's not packed out. But like I said, it's nice to have the peace of mind knowing that just in case it is a little overloaded, that we have something to lock those, that lid down. Last thing you want is your groceries flying out in the middle of the road. Last time I didn't bring a basket or anything, so just in case, or you might want to bring a backpack too. I don't like using backpacks to transport things by bike, but just having extra options is always a good thing. Last time I should have just put the toilet paper right on top and my cargo net over it. I have a cargo net, I just didn't bring it. So, so one of the reasons I decided to take this bike is mostly just because this one is more rigid. It has a rear triangle in my other frame design. It doesn't have a triangle, so the chain stays are pretty flexible. They just have a little too much tor torsional flex to them. So I can already feel right away, I mean, this is a lighter load, but at the same time, the stiffer frame can handle the load much better. It just feels much more solid. With my other custom ultra frame, I should have used a thicker tubing. I used 1 8 inch, and I realized quickly that I should have at least went with 3 16 of an inch, or I might even consider on the on the dropout part to use a quarter inch. It's heavier. It'll add a couple of pounds, but I think adding a couple of pounds to the bike to get the peace of mind of a, of a more rigid frame would be worth it. In the meantime, I use this one, but what I don't like about this one is that it's slower. So I think with a load I mean, in general, with carrying a load, you don't really want to go too fast anyway, but that doesn't change the fact that you have to ride in traffic. So riding through this congested intersection and the quarter mile strip where people drive aggressively, it's uncomfortable to ride at 25 miles per hour, especially with a trailer. Hopefully, since it has a red lid and I got a bunch of lights flashing back there, hopefully people will have enough decency and respect to give me some space. But not everyone does. One of the things I need to change on this bike is that I have my throttle on the left hand which really doesn't make any sense because you need your left hand for signaling. So usually when I need the throttle the most are cases where I need to signal. So I do need to figure out a way to move my throttle to my right hand on this bike. Another weakness of this bike versus the Bafang Ultra is that it it doesn't smoothly transition from throttle to pedal assist. There's like a, I don't know, maybe a three or five second delay, but it's, it's long enough to be cumbersome. But so for example, right now, I'd like to hit the throttle and get that launch, but I can't because if I hit the throttle, then when I, when I try to switch to pedal assist, if I need to signal with my left hand, then I won't be able to, um, I won't be able to get throttle for a few seconds. And that's right in a situation where I need it the most.
left hand signal, put your hand up. I mean, I'm sorry, right hand signal, put your hand up. Left hand signal, you put your hand down. Always use your left hand. So sometimes it's not so bad, and that time there were a bunch of concrete trucks. But it really doesn't matter so much on the vehicle as long as the drivers are respectful and they're not riding up behind me. I also, since the previous trailer video, I came up with a new hitch design, which is just much easier to make and a little more cost effective. So I'll probably do another video on that soon. Just showing how to make that. And at the same time, I, uh, I have a new trailer design if you wanted to do the, the DIY from scratch for a trailer build. I, I'm working on that in a CAD model. So I'll try to do a video with both of those two together. steep hill right here. We're doing about 20. So now this car is parked here. I got a truck coming up on my left. It's tight. This is one of the situations where the Bafang Ultra would be nice because the Ultra would pull this load up this hill probably at about 30 or 35. Probably about 30 miles per hour. And this one we're doing about 15. So Basically, that situation right there, I forced that red pickup truck to slow down. And that's when you can get into dicey situations where if that driver was impatient and wanted to try to squeeze through to pass, they might have caused a dangerous situation when another car comes around the bend. And by having my high power Batfang Ultra, if I'm doing 30, they legally cannot pass me and they should not pass me and they have no reason to pass me so that would diminish the dangerous situation <laughs> 